Welcome back. So today's video is a Halloween tutorial slash costume slash pretty much anything and everything you are going to need to know if you want to become Miss Tina Belcher for Halloween. A very simple, easy, but really funny costume to do. Everything you need for the costume, the clothing, the wig, um, glasses, you can all get that from the dollar store or like thrift stores. And I think this whole look cost about 20 to 30 dollars max. So yeah, if you want to know how to become Tina Belcher, just keep on watching. Okay, so first step is primer. I'm going to put this all over my face so the makeup stays on all day. Okay, so now I'm taking the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and I'm placing this all over the face so I have one clear base to work with. Now I'm just using the Sonia Kesha concealer just to conceal my under eyes. Now I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder just to lock everything in place. Now let's work on the eye makeup. First thing, we are going to prime the lids as well, just using the NYX HD Eyeshadow Primer. Okay, so for this look, I'm using the NYX Love in Paris palette in Je Ne Sais Quoi. And taking the beigey shimmery color, I am just going to place that all over the lid. Now taking that light shimmery bronze color, I'm going to place that lightly in the crease. Now I'm going to blend out all the shadow so it looks a bit softer and not as harsh. Now for a liquid liner, I am using a brown shade because this one is more natural than using a black liner. And I'm just doing a basic line on my upper lash line. The more simple it is, the better. So now I'm taking the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and I'm just going to do one coat for this look because like I said, it's very simple. And I don't know why this keeps on happening with this mascara, but it always gets on my lids, so I'm just cleaning that off. Now I'm using the Maybelline Eyebrow Pencil just to lightly fill in my brows. And that is the complete makeup look. But now I gotta put on the glasses. So now that we have the makeup done, we got the glasses. Now we gotta work on the hair. Your ass is grass and I'm gonna mow it. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna use a wig cap because my hair is kinda long and thick and so it's just easier to use a wig cap just to hold everything in place. I'm gonna put my hair in a loose low pony just so it's easier to work with. So now I'm getting the ponytail and twirling it together so it's one big piece 
just so it's easier to get the wig cap over it. So you want to put on the wig cap from the back of your head just so it's easier to gather all the hair that you need to cover up. And yes, you might look a little silly after you tuck in all your hair. Okay, so now that the wig cap is on, time to put on the actual wig. So I got this wig from the thrift store. It was about $8, so it wasn't too bad. And same thing, I'm gonna put on the wig from the back of my head just so it's easier to kind of manage. Okay, so then once you have it on, just kind of place it to where you think it looks best. Just kind of play around with it. Okay, so now that the wig is on, you are gonna to wanna to get a yellow clip. It could be a barrette too, just anything that is yellow, and just place that on the right side of your hair, although I put it on the left side by mistake. Whoops. Now that we have the makeup, the glasses, and the hair, the last thing we are gonna need is the outfit. If we see any mermaids, I'm gonna ask them where their merginas are. Okay, so Tina Belcher's look is pretty easy because she is a 13 year old girl, so it's not gonna be that hard to replicate. Okay, so I got the light blue shirt from the thrift store it was about three or four dollars. And then I got the dark blue denim skirt, also from the thrift store. This one was about ten dollars. Okay, and then for the white knee-high socks, the color around it is supposed to be red, but these are the only colors that I had, so I kind of had to make do. And finally, the shoes are just black Converse's. Yet again, I already had these, but you can find these at a thrift store, Target, and that is the complete outfit. So now that you have the hair, the makeup, the outfit, you're going to need some of her classic dance moves if you want to be a true Tina Belcher at a Halloween party. Here are some classic Tina moves that will just make your outfit so much better. So first off, we have sexy dance fighting. Welcome to the world of capoeira. Capoeira is the most seductive form of self-defense. It combines peacefulness. The next dance move is the grind. A ding, a dong, a ding, dong, ding. A slow jam. Ding, 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 ding. And then the next dance move is only reserved if you see a cute boy with a nice butt. Entice him with this dance and he will be all yours. Huh. Well, hello. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a ton of fun to do and I am going to be Tina on actual Halloween, so I'm really excited for that. List down below what you're going to be for Halloween, because I would love to hear that. Okay, so please comment, like, subscribe, do whatever you think will make Tina Belcher happy. Hope you guys have a nice, safe, fun Halloween, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye!